When you're bullish on a stock or ETF, but don't want to risk buying shares outright, you could look to buy a call option for a lower risk bullish trade. However, even call options can get pretty expensive and could pose more risk than you're comfortable with. So, is there another way? Yes, you could buy a bull call spread and lower your initial cost and risk, but your account has to be approved for spread trading first. Essentially, in a bull call spread, you still buy that long call option expressing your bullish opinion, but at the same time, you can offset part of that cost by selling another call option against it, reducing your risk to create a bull call spread. You buy a call option and simultaneously sell another less expensive call option with a higher strike price with each sharing the same expiration date. For example, you could buy a strike close to where the stock is trading while selling a call option that has a higher strike. Note that this trade consists of two separate option transactions, both a long and a short option, that must be placed at the same time. Therefore, you should ensure that you place the trade as a spread order to ensure the execution of both options as one trade. Let's say you're bullish on XYZ stock, which is currently trading for $55 per share. To create a bull call spread, you buy the 55 strike call, currently trading for $3, then sell a call with a higher strike price, like the 60 strike call, which is currently trading for $1. You now own the 5560 bull call spread, and the amount that you paid for the trade is the difference between the $3 debit for the 55 call and the $1 credit from the sale of the 60 call, which is $2. This is also the maximum risk in the trade until expiration. Remember that while the downside risk is limited, your upside potential is also limited. Purchasing the 55 call gives you the right to buy shares at $55, but selling the 60 call obligates you to sell those shares at $60. If you are assigned in the case of this example, the maximum that your trade can ever be worth is $5. After paying $2, your maximum profit on this trade is limited to $3. While limited reward may not sound that exciting, you do happen to be the beneficiary of a lower break-even point. Buying the 55 calls for $3 means having a break-even point of $58 at expiration. But by paying $2 for the spread, your break-even is $1 lower at $57. This is calculated by taking the lower strike of the spread and adding the debit. Depending on where the stock trades before expiration, the value of the spread will be somewhere between zero and five dollars. Suppose the stock finishes at $61. The 55 call is now worth six dollars, while the 60 strike call is worth one dollar. Your total profit is the difference between the gain on the spread and what you paid, or three dollars, regardless of how high the stock goes. The spread maxes out in value at five dollars, the difference in the two call strikes and your cost remains at $2. So your profit is capped at $3 as well. A $3 return on a $2 investment represents a 150% return. Not bad, and far outpacing what the stock would have made in the same move for every penny the stock moves above $55. The 55 call has value, while the 60 call expires worthless. If the stock remains below $60 at expiration, for example, if XYZ finishes at $58.50, then the 55 call is worth $3.50. The 60 call is worthless, and the net value of the spread is $3.50. This scenario nets you a profit of $1.50 on an investment of $2. Remember, if you choose to exercise the $55 call and are not assigned on the $60 call, you will likely end up with a long stock position, which has a risk profile that is very different than the bull call spread. Be careful when managing your position at expiration. And if you are concerned about this assignment risk, 
you might want to consider executing a trade to close your position. If the stock is trading below $55 at expiration, and both options expire worthless and unexercised, the spread is also worthless and therefore you'd lose the entire $2. To learn more about the bull call spread and other strategies, visit the OIC website, optionseducation.org.